Asus has really kind of impressed me with this one, with 4K, IPS, and FreeSync all in one monitor. Oh, and it's 24 inches. This is pretty insane. Stick around for the full review. Check out our website at techteamgb.co.uk for more info on both this and many other products, and also up-to-date news on all things tech. Stick around for this awesome video. So 4K monitors, when they first came out, you could only really get them in sort of 32 inch or maybe even sort of 27 inch. Nowadays, we've got a 24 inch UHD 4K display and it's pretty awesome. It's even IPS. This is ASUS's MG24UQ gaming monitor. It's classed as a gaming monitor, even though, as I said, it is IPS. It's 60 hertz, but it does have free sync, which is really awesome. The menu system is similar to the PG range with a sort of hat switch to be able to um, navigate around the menus and then different buttons to do, do different things. The general aesthetic is, again, quite gamery, quite nice. You have this removable uh, section for cable management, which is actually really nice and a lot easier than some of the other options for cable management, so that's really cool. You have 150 millimeters of height adjust as well as uh, 60 degrees either side rotation uh, or sort of swivel. Uh, you've got 20 degrees plus and minus 5 degrees tilt and you can put it in portrait mode so you have 90 degrees rotation there as well. If you did want to put this in portrait mode, you could definitely put a couple of these in a sort of surround tone configuration and because it's 24 inches, it wouldn't take up all that much room in your desk, which is pretty awesome. Now in terms of the monitor's kind of I.O., you've got a headphone out, display port, two HDMI, I believe these are 1.4a ports, and uh, HDMI 2.0, so that can handle 4K 60Hz. You've also got the screen release catch if you want to take it off the uh, rather nice stand, and the power in. Now the menu system here is actually pretty nice, it's very easy to find everything there, and if you plug in via display port, I believe it automatically defaults to uh, display port 1.2, and it's in the input select menu, so if you're accidentally running on 1.1 obviously that means you can't run 4k 60 hertz easily switching it to 1.2 uh, is is really nice now in terms of this panel as i said it is ips and it's a beautiful panel the color accuracy may not be as precise as the benq uh, professional monitor the, the 10 bit one i checked out but this is certainly really awesome you will definitely need scaling with this though as that's my pinky uh, on the side of the monitor there so you can un get an idea of how small everything is but if you were planning on gaming on this, well you may find it hard to drive the 4K screen uh, because it has free sync and generally speaking because it is a beautiful looking monitor, this could possibly be one of the best you know, monitors for gaming right now, especially if you don't even have all that much room on your desk, so that's really cool. I expect this to be a little bit pricey and uh, just to note the free sync range is 40 to 60 hertz uh, and also and just to clarify, I haven't seen any backlight bleed with this monitor, which is really nice, and I just had a really nice experience with it, basically. Gaming on it while, uh, you know, I was using a few uh, R9 Fury was a little bit tough, especially even on sort of medium settings. Uh, it was a really nice experience. So this monitor is pretty awesome. It was announced at CES 2016, which means it's very new and still not quite uh, available in a lot of places. So uh, pricing will be based on a uh, kind of a rough idea of what it's going to be as opposed to uh, what it'll actually be in your area. So do bear that in mind when you're thinking about the Vi for Money score. Now, uh, this monitor is, as I said, really quite cool. It's got a lot of features that are Definitely pretty interesting. Things like the fact that it's IPS, which means if you wanted to do any, you know, professional work, uh, content creation, video editing, photo editing, all that sort of stuff, and especially because it's 4K on top of that, it's certainly uh, a great monitor for that. And if you are a bit limited for desk space, especially in your office, for example, being 24 inches but 4K is really nice to be able to expand the kind of space you have on the screen, but not take up more space you have on your desk. So that's pretty cool. Now obviously being 4K it means it's 60 hertz tops but it does have free sync so if you were planning on gaming on it that does mean that it's a lot better of a gaming monitor than one that doesn't um, especially if you're looking for you know if you already have a powerful AMD system. Something to know is that the free sync range is between 40 and 60 hertz so anywhere below 40 fps and you won't be getting the benefit of free sync 
and that may actually be where you end up spending a lot of your, your gaming time as unless you have something like a Fury X, uh, specifically an, an, the X version or maybe an R9 Nano, you probably won't be getting the performance you would need to hit above 40 FPS which is something that you might want to take into consideration if you pl were planning on getting this monitor. Now in terms of inputs, it has a 4K, uh, uh, the uh, HDMI 2.0 port, which is 4K 60Hz, DisplayPort, which again is also 4K 60Hz, and it has two 1.4A or B uh, connectors, so uh, HDMI, so they will be used for, you know, like last gen consoles or something like that. Anything that doesn't, uh, isn't able to push 4K 60Hz, uh, or anything that doesn't have HDMI 2.0 or DisplayPort on it. So it's, not, it's a nice diversity of connectors uh, and that sort of thing. Now overall this monitor is actually really nice, the general kind of usability of it is nice and while you do need a lot more, a lot of GPU horsepower to be able to push it, it's still quite cool that it is, you know, there. I, I remember that you can get a 4K monitor smaller than about 42 inches and now we're getting them in 24 inches so that's pretty cool. Um, personally I'd rather see 1440p 24 inches if, if that's available to anyone um, but at the same time it is nice that it's there and it's nice that it exists so that's kind of cool. The only really cons to it I can see is that uh, it's likely going to be quite expensive being 4K, 24 inches, free sync and all that jazz as well and obviously being one of the MG series, so one of ASUS's kind of gaming series monitors, um, it may be quite expensive but other than that, um, the fact that you're going to need scaling quite heavily may be a bit of an issue but other than that, it's, it's a really awesome monitor, the menu system's nice and there's nothing else really I can say negative about it. So I guess that's kind of that's kind of the pros and cons. In terms of scoring, I'm going to give it a four for five for money based on what I've uh, what I believe the price is. That may change, and you know I'll leave it in the description down below if uh, if I find out that it's anything different. Um, in terms of performance, I'm going to give it a five. Functionality, I think at, at the moment because of uh, everything you know how the, the the system and GPU horsepower and stuff is working, I think I'm going to give it a four for functionality, and also because you're going to need scaling quite heavily um, but in terms of style it's going to be a five and it's going to get the uh, a five for Tetra movie score it's also going to get the gold award because it is an awesome monitor with a lot of just really cool features going for it um, and just generally really cool that it's 24 inches in 4k so uh yeah, I guess that's kind of it. Um, if you've got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget, these vessel, these videos are out on Vessel seven days early, so if you want to check that out, there's also a link in the description down below as well. Um, and other than that, uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos, like or dislike, depending on what you thought, but do let me know what you did or didn't like in the comments down below so that I can improve it for next time. And uh, yeah, check us out on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll see you all in the next video.